So I'm now going to do a little something extra for you, which is I'm going to adapt this pattern to have a, just a little, little touch of some gathers at this sleeve head. Um, I really love having a gathered sleeve head. I just, I've got narrow shoulders and it gives me a bit more shape. And um, the other thing that I love about gathered sleeve head is they're easier because getting a sleeve in beautifully straight can be quite tricky um, without any little pup, uh, any little tucks or puckers, it's quite difficult. If you introduce a couple of soft gathers to your sleeve head, any little indiscretions, any little mistakes, you know, they're much harder to um, see. So that's a bit of a cheat as well, really. Anyway, I love, I've seen a picture of a t-shirt that I've kind of fallen in love with and it's got these soft gathers on the head. So I'm going to use a piece of my pattern paper and you could just use a nice large sheet of paper. And I'm just going to show you how to adjust this sleeve head shape to introduce some gathers. And of course you don't have to do this at all. This is just a little extra. And I've borrowed the children's red felt tip pen so that it shows up a bit more clearly than my pencil. So I start off by drawing, whenever I'm pattern cutting, I start off by drawing a nice straight line. Um, and I'm just going to sellotape my paper in place or use masking tape. Um, so kind of delving into the world of pattern cutting a little bit here just as a little extra for anybody who likes to have a soft, a few soft gathers at the top of your sleeve there. Right, so that's sellotape down. And that is gonna be matched up to my grain line. Now you'll notice when you look at the grain line on your sleeve pattern here, it's just running up here, it's just slightly to the left of your sleeve head there. That's normal, your sleeve head notch, the top, of your sleeve where it meets your shoulder seam will always be slightly offset just by about half a centimetre or so from your grain line. So I want to just match up and place my pattern onto my um, grain line. So let's just make sure that that's lining up there. It is. And then I'm just going to secure my pattern in place. So that line that I drew on is in line with the grain line, not in line with my sleeve head. So this is the front of your sleeve here. And you see you've just got a notch there to help you match up. That will match up with the notch on the front of your armhole there. And they haven't put any notches on the back of the sleeve. That's quite unconventional actually. Normally on a pattern you'd have two notches on the back and one on the front. But anyway, this is a basic pattern. So I'm just going to draw a line at right angles to the grain line um, going across the top. I'll just draw it in a felt tip pen so you can see. Like that. So I've just drawn a line here. And then the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to split this up into sections. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this top sleeve head area into sections. So I'm going to come to where the grain line meets my horizontal line and I'm just going to segment this into kind of triangles here, roughly evenly spaced. So can you see, and I'm going to write the numbers in there, I've got one, two, three, four, five triangles there. Now what I'm going to do is cut along these red lines. And if you're doing this, you could actually trace the whole sleeve head first and um, rather than cutting your original pattern, <laughs> just so that you keep your nice original pattern um, intact and in shape. So let's just chop that very carefully along that line there. So you'll notice that in doing this, the bit here and the bit here, the kind of underarm area is kept intact and that's really important. So we're just adding the fullness right at the top of the sleeve head. So this is the only part that we're going to kind of um, manipulate. Everything else is going to be kept exactly the same. 
and it's quite good to mark them one, two, three, four, five, just in case they get muddled. You can probably guess what's going to happen next. I'm just going to introduce some fullness and some height to the sleeve head by replacing these segments just with little gaps between them. Okay, so I've now positioned these where I want them to be and I'll talk you through that. So segment number one is this line is joined here but it's just been angled a little and then segment number two I've put one centimetre gap between one and two segment number three I've got a one centimetre gap here a one centimetre gap here between three and four a one centimetre gap here between four and five just at the edge there and then the edge of segment five just blends back in there so from here to here we haven't changed it at all. From here up to here, there's just a slight alteration to the angle. And then in between the here, we've just put an extra centimetre gap. And that is our new sleeve head shape, which will give us our gathers. With the, um, number three here, the central one, you just need to make sure that that grain line continues to meet up so if I peel that back there you can see that red grain line is matching up with the grain line on there ignore this sleeve head notch don't let that confuse you concentrate on this grain line so this is just something for those of you who are a little bit more advanced maybe and you are ready to take your sewing to the next level and experiment with a bit of pattern alteration and I just fancied adding some gathers to my sleeve head and also um, a lot of people have said to me, oh, it's, you know, we really like a gathered sleeve head. So I thought, okay, I'll show you. This is a very easy, simple way of just taking an existing pattern and altering it. I'm just going to use masking tape because you can draw on top of it. And again, if you were doing this, um, you know, you, could, you might like to think, well, actually what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll retrace the whole entire sleeve, so I'll leave my original sleeve pattern intact. And then what we can do is draw on top of that masking tape, and we're just going to draw a new pattern line. Whoop. Just blending everything in a nice curve, coming across the top there. And then we're just going to blend that curve back down there. Oops, it's a bit messy in the red pen. <laughs> I'm used to working in pencil. But there we go. So I need to smooth that bit off a bit, actually. There we are. So there you can see you've got that new sleeve head where we've introduced this extra fullness, which will just give us a little bit of a of a, a little bit of a puff because we've raised the height, um, and a little bit of a gather because we've splayed out the top there. So we've got an additional four centimetres of fabric now across the crown of that sleeve to fit into the armhole so the art this you know that the fit into the top of the armhole at the shoulder position so um, that will give us a little puff and a little a few little gathers as well I'll just draw my um, grain line back on over the top of that masking tape so your sleeve head notch hasn't changed position it's still there and that's your your grain line to follow is still there. Now the seam allowance is included in this pattern already so we don't have to worry about that and that's done so I can now cut back around the top of that and I've added a puff sleeve shape um, to the top of my t-shirt sleeve. One last thing now that I want to do is just to mark on where those gathers are going to go. So we didn't leave a gap here between the original sleeve and section one. The first gap is here between one and two. So just put a nice notch there and then the same on the other side. There's no gap there. The first gap where we're adding in fullness is there. So your gathers will come all the way around here. So this is the section, look at that messy pen. This is the section that is going to be gathered between 
this point here at the top of section one and this point here at the top of section five, that's the bit that you're going to gather. Your other notch to note the front of the sleeve is not changed and your notch up here to denote the top of the sleeve head where it meets the shoulder seam hasn't changed either. 